Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center for Go Local Live. I'm your host, Rachel Nunes. Our first guest of the hour is Rita Marin. She's here from Academy Players of Rhode Island. Welcome, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. This is exciting. So if you could start by just telling us a little bit about what are the Academy Players? Academy Players are 63 years old this October, and they originated in the beautiful town of East Greenwich. And 10 years ago, about 10 years ago, we moved them from East Greenwich with the same history, the same policy, the same procedures, and moved it to Providence. We're found near Buttonhole Golf Course on Buttonhole Drive, and we've been there for almost 10 years now. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so you, you're a local community-based organization. We are. We do family-friendly theater, um, ages 5 to 105, we like to say. Um, and we try to do shows for every age group and basically family-oriented. And so you have Newsies coming up. It's we do. opening in about a week. We do. We are in the process right now of having uh, what we call a gala and a grand opening. We have been in the same spot for 10 years. Five of those years were performance-based. We closed this past winter and remodeled and expanded. So we've expanded our seating, we've expanded our dressing rooms, we've expanded backstage. So September 13th is the Rhode Island premiere of Newsies, but it is also our gala grand opening of the new facility and cultural arts center. We also have a cultural arts center which houses Lessons, music lessons, voice lessons, dance lessons, acting lessons, any kind of art lessons. Fantastic. So it's, it's really going to be a, a community center for, for the arts. It really is. It really is. It is building on lessons that proceed onto the stage. So we're really running a full cultural art center. So talk to us a little bit about Newsies. What made you choose that for <laughs> your... The opening, opening show. Newsies is a community-filled and driven production, and I love community. It is in our name, Academy Players Community Theater. I love ensembles, and I love shows that encompass community. And Newsies is one. The boys rally. They try to create a union, and the community gets involved. Some of the community is not in an agreement, but it's a beautiful story about, and I think it's relevant today, even though it took place in 1899 to 1900. Um, I think you could take that story and place it right into 2018. Oh, you, you definitely could. It really is the this kind of David and Goliath story of, of all these young people coming together. And that really is just one of those themes that, that really rings true for all of us, you know, especially for young people, you know, getting together with your friends and, and righting wrongs and, and making sure justice is, is Exactly. Found. That's exactly it, the righting wrongs. And to be heard, uh, these young people, the cast is made up, the newsies are made up from ages 19, a little bit younger, to 28. And it's a perfect age to be heard. So they're still fighting to be heard whether politically, whether activist, whether behind something, they're still yelling to be heard. So it's, it's a perfect story right now. And I love new, new work. I love when new work comes out. I love the challenge. And it's exciting to trip off of an international tour and a national tour and then be the next group to do it. So it's a premiere, too, so we're pretty excited. Absolutely. And Newsies itself, it's a, it's a very dance-heavy show, it is. and so it, it requires a lot of very, very strong talent. And where do you source these, these actors from? Well, um, there's kind of three different categories that we put, now I'm going to give away all my secrets, <laughs> three different categories that we basically put people in, and it's great singers, great dancers, great actors. Sometimes you're not going to find them all with the same you know, heavy strength. They can do it, but some of you're not going to find them all at the same three, as we call it, triple threats. So we actually started this show with a dance intensive starting May 1st, and all of the newsies had to take that dance intensive, and they have been dancing nonstop since then. Wow. And our choreographer, Julia Gillis, who is phenomenal, along with her assistant, Brianna Geyer, have made dancers out of some of these young men and women. So it's, it's, it's an incredible story within itself. 
It really is. It sounds like it. And you are a community-based organization. Can can anyone audition? Are, are they open? Absolutely. We always have open auditions. Um, they're open auditions, and unfortunately, we have people that come back for the last 10 years over and over and over again, and they say, why do we have to audition? Because it's open audition for everybody. Um, the audition is not it, itself is not open. We do a closed audition because we feel as though the actor is more comfortable with only four or five people at a table as opposed to an audience of maybe 100 auditioning. So we get the real person and the comfortable person, per se, when they audition. I, especially for, for someone who is not a professional actor, it's, it must be pretty nerve-wracking to, to be auditioning very, in is. front of 50, 60 people sitting and watching you. It is. And for this show, we auditioned over three days, six hours a day, 192 people auditioned, which wow. is unheard of. They came from Boston, Mass uh, Connecticut, New York, and of course, Rhode Island. Wow. So you really do have regional, regional pull. This isn't just small community theater who's Correct. in the area. This is, this is really a, a And that a was thing. our focus when we took Academy from East Greenwich to Providence, was to expand everything, to expand our audition pool, to be right off the highway so anybody is interstate can get to us. So that was one of our goals, and we feel like we succeeded. So. Fantastic. I hope. I hope. And so speaking about the gala um, a bit and as well mm -hmm. as the performances, it, can anyone buy a ticket to the gala? The gala uh, was a special invite. Um, we have dignitaries, politicians. Um, it is something exciting that's happening in Providence for Providence. Uh, so we kind of like closed that day off for the city itself to enjoy it and to be invited to. We have um, a piano discussion coming. It starts at 5.30, from 5.30 to 6.30 we have a light menu, and then at 6.30 we have a talkback forum of some professionals in Rhode Island and some journalists from Rhode Island to talk about the topic of theater and uh, news and entertainment. So we have a, a talkback for an hour, and then the show premieres at 8 o'clock. And that is a gift to the community, to the mayors, the councilmen, the, the governor, all of that. So we had to close it off because it sold out immediately. So Sounds like it's, it's going to be a fascinating evening. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> and for anyone who maybe didn't receive their invitation or maybe it got lost in the mail <laughs> and uh, they're hoping to attend the show anyway, mm -hmm. when, uh, when can they see it? They can see it. It opens September 13th. That is the day that sold out the first weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday of that weekend is completely sold out. Wow. The second weekend, following the weekend of the 13th, there is still some tickets. The last weekend, it runs all the weekends of September, the last weekend is close to selling out. So narrow in on that middle weekend, and hopefully you can get a ticket. Now's the time. Now's the time. That's one of their lyrics in the <laughs> That's show. true, Now's it is. Now's the time. <laughs> Now is the time. And so how much are tickets to, uh, to attend? $25. Um, and it, you can go through brown paper tickets under Academy Players Newsies, and that's how you can find the tickets. No tickets at the door. Fire Marshal won't let us sell. Sounds them. like they, they won't be available anyway. No, they're going pretty quick. They have been. They have been. We've increased seating, so we thought we were going to service most of Rhode Island, but we're filling up quickly, so I guess that's a good problem. Yeah, that's that's really incredible. And so maybe we, if we don't get to uh, get to see Newsies, or maybe it sells out too quickly, what what can we look forward to seeing upcoming? Uh, next coming up is uh, we do a lot of collaboration with Epic Theatre Company, run by Kevin Broccoli. His show is coming up in October. Um, we are also a part of we designed a company cast. What a company cast is, is we had about 60 to 70 people audition, and from that we created a almost like chorus choir-like group that will now do musicals in a concert format. So they're musicals that maybe people aren't doing more of, brand new ones, or some that have not been heard by the public. So we, my production team got together and designed this company cast, as it's called, and we'll be opening in October with Adam's Family, where they will just act out and sing out 
in a concert series format. So there's no sets, there's no costumes, there's no props, it's just these unbelievable professional singers singing with the binder in front of them because we knew that there was a, a group of people out there that didn't necessarily want to do theater, but they want to sing. So there's this whole other world out there that we have now grabbed onto and we're excited about that. So that happens in October and then uh, we have Once on this Island for the younger group, the teens and the children. That's a beautiful story that happens in November and all of this is on our website and we have a full season, full season of shows. Fantastic. And you were speaking about uh, Once on this Island being geared towards a, a younger mm -hmm. group. What kind of youth programs do you do? We, well, first we offer lots of classes uh, in all of the arts discipline for the younger group. Uh, we now have a class that starts on Saturday with Dante Sciarra, who will be teaching the youth musical. Oh, he's fantastic. Dance. You he's know Dante? He's fantastic. He was one of my uh, professors at, at the University of Rhode Island. Oh. I took his dance class. He's wonderful. He's my other husband. <laughs> We've been friends since I was 11 years old. So um, he's very much a, a house person for us, a house choreographer and dance teacher resident. So we have that, but we also offer junior style shows for the young, and uh, that's 18 and under. So piano, like I said, piano classes, voice lessons, you name it, to kind of grow them. And so that's a great opportunity both for, for kids to get involved, but also to, to learn maybe if, if they're interested or they've done maybe a, a play at school mm -hmm. and they, they want to push it a, a little farther. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is a great, we call it Academy is Home, and there's all ages that flock to it, thank goodness, so we're Fantastic. very fortunate, we're very fortunate. And how can someone get involved, maybe they don't have the time to audition, or maybe they, they just don't, don't have the acting ability, is, is there a way to, to get involved with, with the Academy Players community? Absolutely, we are always looking for volunteers, and uh, on our website you can find our email and just drop us a note saying we would like to get involved. Uh, behind the scenes, we're always looking for technical people, uh, lights, camera action, we're always looking for that. Uh, we're always looking for people backstage, uh, and we're always looking for board members as well, so there's plenty of opportunity. Plenty. Fantastic. Well, Newsies is getting ready to open up. I'm sure you guys are, are deep into your last second preparations we and tech rehearsals. Are. We certainly are. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Uh, Newsies opens September 13th. September 13th. And if you want to go get your tickets now, they're selling out quickly. You can check out the brand new Academy Players Theater, and it's their, their new, new area. That's Fantastic. <laughs> you won't want to miss it. Thank you so much, Rita Merritt, for joining us. Thank you. Taking for time out of your very busy schedule to be with us. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We'll be right back with our next guest here Thank on you. Go Local Live.